It's liquid, bro. You're liquid. <laughs> and it's the knee up. Yeah, like that. If I can get my head through, surely I should be able to get my body through, right? Is that logical? Or? So here we are, we found ourselves in Crawley. We're trying to kind of tackle some anti-parkour architecture. And the first one that we found is this horrific kind of sharp spiky thing that rolls and i think josh thinks he can fit through this gap it doesn't seem possible to anybody else but apparently josh can fit I, I remember josh did one of these before like over 10 years ago at bt and red hill came away from it with horrible horrible cuts all over his back and legs it's a weird thing to want to do maybe i can try a different strategy i think spin yourself around so your back's facing up i reckon i'm doing this <laughs> Star Army today, the plan was to go head to head with all the anti-climb and anti-trespass methods that the UK uses. All the stuff that stops people climbing up and climbing into places. I'm not sure if it's technique oriented, is it? I'd assume the only crux really is the size of the hole, right? I need something extra. Do you want a hand on the other side? Wow, this, this is what it's come to then. This is parkour for us these days. Yeah! This is what parkour has become. Pulling Josh through a spike fence. Oh, Ready? Yeah. Is that a good way? I don't know. How do you feel? Uh, weird. I feel like the thinness of this fence is starting to hurt my like quad. Josh, you need to need a hair hand like here. I might get a bin or a platform or something to put my foot on. What about this? You gotta use your parkour yeah. skills alone, bro. If anyone in the comments wants to argue this is not parkour, I would argue that you're wrong. So imagine you were stuck in this area and the only way you could escape is going through this. Right, where, where can I help? Liquid. You're liquid. You're liquid. like water, my friend. You're oh liquid my snake. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God. Keep going, Josh. Keep going. <laughs> concentrate. Concentrate here. <laughs> oh, yes. my oh my God. God. Oh my God. No one else is doing that. I'll try. I'll get stuck. I'll oh, be there. Never there. Trying. Oh. I'll take that away. <laughs> but, oh. Oh, no. Oh. The limits of which a human body can go. Parkour is like, kind of like that. It's adapting yourself to the environment. Josh is like a cat. He looks big, but then he squirms down into this. The position of my body, like being like that, then slipped it through. If you're just straight, you can't get through, but you've got to like point yourself down. And because the spikes roll, it made it actually work. Anyone else want to go? I'm really not even close to that, trying what? that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, so that's a no all round. I've had to do it faster, maybe. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was very quick to doubt when Josh said oh, that's possible. But can you blame me? Look at it. There's like a hand. I've done it once now and I want to just see if I can get it faster. Here he goes again. <laughs> I don't think I can do that quick. I don't think I could do it again. Yeah, man. Oh, oh my god. This boy's nuts off. Oh! Incredible. Wow, what a. It's like Josh has made to slip through these little gaps. That's incredible. Should That's one of us incredible. try that just for perspective? Because I really don't think Shut that's up. possible. No, no major cuts. Oh. It's not bad. I mean, if you're in an emergency and you have you to get need out, to get out. Fine. You know someone's a couple of minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the breathe out. <laughs> yeah. I'm in <laughs> agony as well. Like. Do you need a hand? <laughs> oh, not a chance, man. And you, you can't panic or freak out. How is he staying so calm? Literally, you could rip up your whole body if you start panicking. So for those of you wondering what we do once we start sort of packing in and, you know, the physical side of stuff starts to drop off. Security consultancy as well, hire us. If you want to make sure your area is secure, book Stora for your tactical needs. Actual advert though, we will actually do that job for you. Just that wall being there is a weak link in the security of this whole thing. Yeah. What's the point of the spike fence? if you've got the wall there essentially. You put in all of this effort to put the spikes in, but then you make the one weakness of being able to just climb up on the wall. We've had it before that one time in Elephant Castle. The spikes actually helped us get into this abandoned <laughs> building. I mean, without the spikes there, that climb wasn't possible. Yeah. They failed to secure the air and not only failed, they've made it more easy to get on top of and in the, in the premises. Hey, do you want, mate? What? It's a faster way to do it. This is a normal person's way. As another kind of dangerous spike challenge, we could drink this liquid and see I'll if anybody joy. survives. Anyone in the comments that wants to argue that's not parkour? No, 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 no that's good. Oh! What is that? No idea oh, what that is. It smells bad. <laughs> yeah, so anyone wondering how my finger's doing? If you watched last Monday's video, you realise I've dislocated my finger. The joiners will know 
how bad it really was and how much of an S it looked like. Here we go, anti-parkour challenge number two. Barbed wire. We've ticked off razor wire, next is barbed wire. Arguably nicer, but uh, you still don't want to get caught. We're gonna try and go from where Callum is to this wall and then jump over the barbed wire fence. Barbed wire looks very small and inconspicuous, but if you say jumped over that and then that got caught on your trackies, you're sticking to that and then slamming in. they've done layers of it. If they just had that bottom layer, you could just use the fence below. You look for one of these. You look yeah. for your middle post. Find that. Yeah, that's, that's good it. knowledge. But this one's especially thin and sharp and yeah. edgy. Look for the connection point. Is this getting demonetized? Are we teaching people the wrong thing? No, like imagine they're stuck. So I'm prepping for the 180 hurdle, 180 plyo hurdle, but I'm just gonna start from here and see if I can clear. What are you saying about the 180? I'm gonna go and have a look. The only thing with this building is it's a bank and it's a weekday, so people are working in the bank. You've got different levels of it. I want to go for the lower one, so the plyo is a little less droppy. Ooh. Wow! Thank you. Wow. Don't show us again. Are you gonna damage your spine? That's fine. No, that was a good landing. That's a good landing. I think I'm just going home and lie down. Too much excitement for one day. Enjoy your enjoy your dinner. It's so sweet, aren't they? Spring bucket. He spring it. What are you thinking then? From the 180 to the wall, plyo over. Going through the prep process at the moment. Obviously getting that plyo out of the 180 is the hard part. I'm guessing you need to get the 180 comfortable first and then gain the confidence to be able to do the jump. Okay, so you're climbing like a rope. Yeah, what is he doing here? Army. We didn't do this by the way. But look at the state of that. Jesus Christ. Nice. To get over that is real hard. I need to have another prep actually. The important thing with this is not actually breaking the drain pipe. Climbing up to get to the challenge, but also not destroying it. Aside from the plyo over to the barbed wire, the 180 is a fairly whammy 180. So it's a nice bit of drop and go up this route. But like I said, it's a bang. Alarm oh. bells. Pew, pew. Alarm bells ringing, red flags. Or oh, this sketchy drain pipe. Obviously I knew it beforehand, but uh, listening to the Sora podcast, yeah. Phil Doyle was talking about climbing drain pipes. Never pull out, always pull down. Good and tip. always look for these joinings and test these. This one here is away from the wall, with making it less safe than a normal drain pipe. Well, if the drain pipe's like this, don't climb it. He says don't climb it, but he's just about to climb it. About to, yeah. Pull down. Oh. Oh. Boom, he's on. The next step is to hurdle over the barbed wire, linked in with the 180. Oh, could have got that one. Nah, I'm off angle. Oh, oh Max. Yes. Oh, it's good. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. it's good. Oh, it's good. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, mate, that was scary. The ones I did previously where I came in sticky would have been even more troublesome. Really? Yeah. And oh. I overdid that 180. Oh, my God. Cleared it by a long, yeah, long amount. It's just I had to go like yeah. this. Update on my leg. Obviously, last week's video, I couldn't take part because I, I just had a raw dead leg. Getting better. Damn. It's still a bit puffy around here. We're like two videos on and it's still there. Nice. Oh, nicely done, man. Oh, I've got it. Sick. Why, that scared me so much. Jeez, not as much impact as I thought either. So that's nice. all right. You'll get over it, and if you don't, you'll get over it. Whoa. Bobby Dazzler. Yeah. 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 Absolutely yeah. lovely. Nice, that's like some that. proper PK. All the spikes, Josh has done, and we've done barbed wire. Me and Bob completed. Moving on to the next. Anti-climbing paint, rollers. A police dog. Here we go, more of these weird spike rollers. A different version this time. It's like sea urchins or something around It's called these sea urchins, yeah. The urban sea urchins. Seems like there's a jump from on top of here and a little pop over the ones at the end, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna dive roll the back. Hmm. I'm gonna dive roll the back one. Okay. Oh. Oh. They're like awkward little tapping around that end bit just felt terrible. Didn't get spiked. Oh yes, we found another sludge bucket. Get Callum over here. Callum over here please. What's of all the places we're going to today and just buckets of fat? Super high fry. Oh, what is that? Yeah, yeah, it's it's new it's only this deep. Have you ever seen anything like that before yeah. or not? On to the next bucket. Yep. I mean, next to this spot. Ah, a bucket cannot contain this one. And I'm standing in it. 
What's with this place? So next spot, next challenge, back at the very famously secure Red Hill BT. I don't even get how I, apparently I've done this before, but I, I well, vaguely remember. So you remember. squeeze through that hole? Yeah, but how? It's possible. You've done it. <laughs> the thing is with these, they put you to stop climbing up, but this makes it much easier. Yeah, it's a it's solid decent. handhold. Yeah, that's crazy. To the sole purpose of those being there, to stop you climbing, they fail. It, it makes it easier. Better. And it just looks crap. Pretty damn brutal. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's a local. What a horrible device. This is like a quite an awkward little barbed wire setup. Getting over and back from this wall is quite a cool little challenge. Stride this and sort of like hurdle over. Oh. <laughs> Definitely need a bit of parkour for that. That'd be awkward if you couldn't do that. If you missed your foot placement or messed it up, you just fall into this just yeah. spider's web. Folded over in there. Yeah, it's like attached. Can we get that? This is a very trained spot for us. BT, we've trained many, many hours. But what Toby's looking at right now, I don't think has ever been achieved by anyone training here. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. I'll probably clear the fence by too much. Maybe. I thought right, this one would be easy. Here we go, round two. Yes! You do clip the Yes! <laughs> Yeah, boy. That's a BT NBD. It's got a gate there. You're not meant to be in it. You're not meant to get through it. There's a little bit of anti-climbing paint left. As you can see, it's not like prime anti-climbing paint, but definitely stains your hands. Also, tip with anti-climbing paint, if you ever get some in your hand, the best way to get it off, brick wall. Like that. Look at that. And green. There's a tiny gap at the top that you can squeeze through. How's this? Fire dogs on the other side. Oh. Leg whoop. Oh. 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 Easy. Oh, really? Ah, I better get out really quickly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is anti climb grease. And that's not even bad. Like, that's the kind of old anti climb paint that's mostly cleared up. Ligoop? Yeah, you're going to that, right? And then just yeah, falling. Yeah, yeah. The last bit of this is strangely satisfying, actually. It's just that middle stage. Once you get up there, dipping your head in and squirming yeah, yeah, through yeah. that. Yeah. A bit too much time for a dog to grab your ankle. <laughs> oh, nice. Yo, yes. This is Josh's cup of tea. Other way. <gasps> what? Oh my God. Sorry, lads, this is private property. Nah, yeah, we know. Yeah. Do you want to see how fast he can get over this fence? Oh, he probably <laughs> couldn't get as fast as me, I told you. Just me. <laughs> Ripped. Ooh, check these out as well. Sneak peek, sneak peek. These aren't out yet, but we have got a discount code on the new range. Check it out, link in the description. This is a kind of old school challenge that uh, David Greaves did back in the day. Shout out David Greaves, OG OG. You basically jump in and land with foot placement either side. So if you come in and stub your toe, you could be dislocating toes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Nice. Yeah. Oh! Nice. There and back yes. again! Do you know what the weird thing about this is? Usually with pre's, you never need to like slot them in places. Yeah. And with that, you have to judge both feet. Hello! Bye bye! Oh, Hello! Oh my yes! God. Oh my god! Why am I arching that? Really? Really? Which jump is possibly to arch? <laughs> I'm gonna go raw pulp. Raw spike. Raw spike. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Well, I feel like that's going to be shit. My cootie's bleed. Yeah. Oh, yes. 
Cheers, Bob. Challenge complete. Thank you very much, Bob. The hell are you doing? Preparation. Hey. Preparation. Yeah, yeah, Talking to six foot clearance here. Jesus Christ. Another day, another anti parkour challenge. Oh, what the hell are we thinking? Doom, doom. Clear that. Classic old school David Bell styling. That's to give you a little prep. Ooh. This is a scary one. That is sure. scary. Getting the height is fine. Just trying to push off like right over the bikes is going to be hard. We've got some nice preps here though. So yeah. just setting up, getting warm, making sure. You don't get spiked on these spikes. All right, all right. So we've got ourselves a little prep wire, basically to simulate the gate. Tight, tight. I thought play it safe and go higher, but it's actually quite high You're anyway. You're going to be skimming so. over it yeah. if it does happen. The boy does knots, all right? Oi, what's that yeah. knot called? Store army. Comic competition. What's that knot called? Still going for the 270. I can't do it the other way. I'd rather go that way. Ooh. Ooh. Oh Goodbye, <laughs> bum cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at all close to doing it. I just saw that too. I see what that was like. No, no, very, very spiked. Ah! Yeah, <sighs> Consistency. Oh, that was so high. Make Perfect it, practice. This. If you're clearing this, you're definitely, definitely. clearing the spikes. I'm just going to copy and paste. All right, yeah. Oh. That's fine. That did scare me oh. though. On that go, I thought, right, I'm only going to go once it just feels easy. And oh. I was running up, actually, a little bit scared still. Jumping the gun here, but the dream move that I reckon someone could do is step up palm flip stuff like this. Oh. Berkey's done like cat breeze and stuff between spikes. Yeah. We started can. doing water challenges and loads of water challenges started happening, and now we're doing spike challenges. It is a different level. If you do want to try it, be careful. The spikes have a lot of more consequences than, than water. Drew's looking pretty consistent as well. Yes! <laughs> that is savage. Yeah, it I'm not lovely, surprised. Man. Yeah, that just works so well. I've been prepping it like a wall pop, but it's actually just a tic tac. Half a tic tac, half yeah. a wall pop. Half tack, half pop. Let's go. I prefer to do it this way, but even if I was doing it this way, still, like, still, super still scary. Super scary. So, yeah. yeah, it is a bit of a scary one. It's definitely something that you should take a lot of caution and a lot of practice and a lot of preparation before you attempt anything over spikes. YouTube, don't demonetize us. Did you not see that wire prep? Well, I think they're going to go for a double, you know? Double, double! Oh. Yo! Yeah. Yo, fellas. Right, that's a tick on that challenge. Drew and Toby ticked it off perfectly, perfectly. Next is spike challenge. Can we rate this security effort out of 10? So obviously they don't want people going inside. So they put the spikes there. They put the rollers there, but they've just half done it. One out of 10. Also these spikes, if you're going to put spikes in the fence, close the gap up. Toby's already up. That is so secure. Spikes are fairly actually um, spiky as well. Oh. Are you running up the gate? Like, be careful if you go up because it might you might fall and hurt yourself. That's so if if the, if the two yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We're at the next spike challenge. Again, weakness and security. If you're gonna put spikes or razor wire at the top of the wall, make sure you finish it off, yeah? What is the point of all of these spikes? You can climb up and just jump over. Rookie, rookie arrows. This here is, is like a spike fence, but also a perfect step ladder. Getting onto that roof over that spikes is way too easy. We were all thinking, imagine hitting this plyo wall pot over this barbed wire overhang. That was too easy. Oh, this will be tough. You got oh. spikes in the way, mate. Will oh. you be able to get over that? Can't go any further. Magic trick. Magic trick. Uh, <laughs> They've done a great job at bringing the spikes over the front of the wall. They're actually offset back here, so you've got to climb out and around them. Basically, makes any like mantle technique or any climb up technique almost impossible. Lad. High wall overhanging spike, you're basically it's in a problem. Well. That's impossible, but <laughs> less than three seconds. Like, quiet. Like, for the job. But they never do Right, Jay's gonna get it fast. Incoming. Jay's coming in for the fastest attempt. 
Boom. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What do you mean? Oh, oh damn! That is added another element to that challenge. Yeah, I thought we were defeated, but Jay has just conquered it. I think the limb length is definitely helping. And yeah. the commitment of just going. You almost like look like you jumped up into like hands on like weight into this bit. I'm like on it's my foot, tiptoes. Foot, it's foot, 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 yeah. And it's the knee up. And yeah, like that. And it backwards and pushing up there, but just nuts. That <laughs> I don't know how he did it. No. Yes, Tom. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes! 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 So far, that was the hardest one. We tried to challenge ourselves getting over, and, and they two did it. So it isn't impossible. There is a weakness in the design of this because that there is just a great handhold. <laughs> Looks fine from down here, but when you're up there, it's actually quite challenging. If you guys want to see how weird it is, this is one challenge I can do with a messed up finger. Ooh. Jumper clippage. Right, we're at this next spot. Jumping, clearing spikes again. We've got this horrible little spiked middle ground, and the idea is to jump from here to there. You can see that where they put up one set of spikes, it did nothing at all. So they put up another set of spikes, no prevail. Final set of spikes, and still Max is using them to get on the roof. <laughs> Three out of ten. All right, Max is on the takeoff. Ben is still climbing with his bad fingers. J bat trick. What a trick. That was silent. The delicacy on that. Delicatessen. Challenge complete. Not even an issue. Next day, spot A. So we've got a very high, spiky. That is high. What yeah. is it? It's above God, nipples. It's collarbones. Man. Collarbones. It's collarbones. Just it's a collarbone dive. It's quite high. Like, obviously, you can dive over that, but any incidents where you're coming in short, that's going to really affect you. I think you. the danger. Maybe the knees. technique where your knees or your quads or anything don't scrape the spikes. Yeah. Oh! First preparation for this are going to be just clearing this spike fence. It's a little bit annoying that um, these are there because that would hurt if I dive right onto that. This prep, the distance of the curve is different as well. Oh, oh that's really good. Knee was a little bit close, chest really? miles off. Get rid of the bag. Be bag yourself. Next up is prep pack. To be fair, your, your head is going to be the same sort of height. Feeling your body. Just need to be aware of the rotation. Stay in it. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. Let's get it. Coming in. Yo! The air time. What a lovely challenge. Honestly, if anybody's feeling it, massive recommendation. That was so fun. The spikes were not a problem there. 